fire alarm went off, they often do, usually a false alarm, it went off at 10.30. I left my room, I didn't leave the building, I just went on the balcony and had a cigarette. Sure enough, the alarm turned off two minutes later. I doubt that many people even left the building. It's happened so many times where it's either a cooking thing or somebody smoking in the room or something. So I was awake reading my book when the alarm went off again at 12.30. And in my head I went, oh, for F's sake, um, another, you know, most people, uh, it's like the times we have evacuated just to stand out on the street for a few minutes before it gets turned off and we all get put back in. Most people don't even leave their rooms. I wasn't going to leave my room, but I felt like a cigarette and I thought oh, I'll actually go out on the street this time because most people usually want to share a cigarette. And um, When I left my room I felt, smelt a bit of smoke. I went straight to the kitchen thinking that someone might have left the, the pots on or something. There was no smoke in the kitchen. Um, and then and just in that 20 seconds when I came back out, there was smoke in the hallway and I could smell the acrid smell of like burning, you know, plasticky material. And I've been through a house fire before, I knew, I knew that it was a fire. So I did a quick lap of our floor knocking on doors saying, everyone get out, this fire's real. Um, and we all evacuated, the smoke it was, had already started filling up the, the ceiling of the hallway by then and on the first floor. So we evacuated and the smoke was billowing out of those top windows. Really thick, horrible smoke for a fair while. The fire brigade turned up, lots of appliances, and they obviously went up the stairwell at the side because the front door stairwell is... Um, I don't know if they had access to that. The door's been broken for a fair while. And... Yeah, and then once it flashed, then the flames were licking out of those windows, four windows, about double the height, and then the roof. Um, I called a police lady um, and said, let the fire brigade know that that roof is asbestos, because I'd done some maintenance on it. Then at about four o'clock, I think, um, the, the amount of water that they pumped in, into it, it was cascading out the windows and it was still burning like hardcore and the roof went up dude jumped out his window there were five on the roof that got taken off there's no um no like um fire escapes it's just the two stairwells one and nobody would have been able to get the front stairwell because that's where the fire was so basically um we didn't know that there was loss of life it was a bit of a Upsetting. There's a fair bit of anger actually um, with put the bloody thing out, but it was so intense. Um, you know, thank you to the fire brigade and that, and a lot of shock, a lot of shock. Um, they took us up to Newtown, and that's in the morning. Um, we learned that there's possibly 10 dead. None of us knew that at the time. We did see a couple of people getting taken out and grave cheers because they're like old guys, but so. Um, Slight, slight solace gotten from that they would have died in their sleep, hopefully, um, from smoke inhalation. Um, the, the big strong guy that initially put out the couch fire, um, he said when he came out of his room, because he heard a bang, there's probably the windows popping out, um, he said if it didn't hadn't lived there so long that you know exactly the layout of the place. If you didn't, or if you were older or infirm, um, he said he was lucky to get out. It was complete blackness, total thick smoke, crawling on the floor, and a lot of people up there were old or medicated or infirm. Uh, I feel really sad, um, especially for the families of those, and um, yeah, in shock.